Team Canada, huge congratulations. Jeff, the perfect birthday present. Happy birthday. Beating the seeds, the first shock this year. Just sum up how you're feeling for us. Yeah, it, it was a shock to most, but uh, not to us. I, I know how Matt plays, and, and uh, I was so happy. He scored amazing. Uh, chipped in with a couple of doubles here and there, and, and we were able to get through that. For you, Matt, what was it like making your debut for Canada up there on the stage? Oh, it was amazing. No, I can't even explain the experience, but uh, knowing I have an experienced partner with Jeff, it's a lot easier than it potentially could have been. I was about to ask you that. Does, does that massively help having Jeff to just to steady your nerves and everything like that? Oh, 1,000%. Just Even just practicing with them or talking to them at the hotel, it just calms you down to a level where you're used to playing. Jeff, for you... Did you sense blood? Obviously, Daryl hadn't been playing very well. Obviously, you were on the surf, on the tour week in, week out. Did you feel you could get at them early? Yeah, I've, I've played both of them on tour this year and had had uh, success against both. So it, it was in the back of my mind that I knew I could get them. And and like I said, it, 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 their number four seeds are obviously favorite. But uh, like I said, Brendan hit that one one thirteen or one seventeen, and uh, I was thinking that was my chance. And then he took it out, and I was like, uh oh. And uh, luckily that 154 went in and, and we just kept on a roll from there. For you, does this feel like a new dawn for Canadian darts as well? Because obviously no John Part or no Dawson Rochelle. This is the new look Canadian team. It's the first time we've seen a completely new look side for a while. Do you think it's a new dawning and Canada can build from here? It's not even that. It's the fact that we have so many good players. That's why it's changed hands so many times. Uh, you know what I mean? Like John was so close to qualifying back uh, Back when you guys had your, your tournament, he, he reached a semifinal on each attempt and had darts to win, and, and he didn't. But Matt luckily got through, and and like I said, the rest is history. So this guy is a phenomenal player. He's going to represent it, Ali Pali, and, and I'll be supporting him 100%. Do you feel as well that now you're here, you're in the tournament, it's there for the winning? I didn't, can you repeat that? I said, now, now that obviously you're over the first hurdle of the first round, it goes to singles and pairs if needed. Do you think you two have got the team to go on and win this World Cup? Yeah, I, I believe that even before the first round that we had the team to be able to win it. But uh, now that it comes down to three rounds, I know I can count on Jeff to win at least two of them. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much as always. Cheers. Jeff and Matt, many congratulations. Um, Jeff, to you, that one five four checkout. Do you feel like was the, the game changer so early on in the match? Yeah, well, like I said before, Brendan hit that one seventeen. I thought that was going to be my uh, my opportunity. Matt pumped in a buck eighty, I think it was, and I didn't get to shoot at the finish. And uh, I thought I said, okay, we have them. We're going to break throw here, and then that one five four had to go. So uh, yeah, it's it it was a good shot, but at the same time, I think we played a pretty complete game all the way through. How did you both find the experience of playing in the, the empty arena with the crowd noise? Were there any nerves at all? I mean, you certainly didn't seem nervous based on your performance. Yeah, I didn't even notice it, to be honest with you. Yeah. I just I was throwing a game of darts. And, and uh, like I said, usually I don't, I don't focus on what's behind me. It's, it's what's in front of you. And, and uh, like I said, I don't know about you, but it, it felt pretty comfortable up there. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Pretty nice. How much confidence does that performance give you going into the next round? Are you confident you can repeat it? Yeah, well, you can't win without winning the first one. So exactly. it, you have now that we've got one, and and it's kind of planted the seed for both of us. I think that we're we're here to stay, and hopefully we can uh, continue on. And Jeff, your first World Cup appearance since 2013. How good does it feel to to put on that Canada shirt again? Yeah, it's I'm playing with a guy that's about half the size of John Part. <laughs> so no, I love I love absolutely love John, and uh, we wish him well. And and yeah, it feels so good to pull Canada flags on again. Definitely. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, last time you're here, you just said, you, obviously, you played with, Jam, uh, with John Park. Um, so you're the more experienced player in this pair. And what's it been like taking on kind of the, the captain's piece uh, this year? Kind of... Yeah, it's, it's been excellent. I, like I said, I, I remember how John was for me. He, was, he, he, he put me in the same, same scenario, same mind frame, uh, just, just relax and play. And, and I was able to play decent when I played with John. And hopefully I can pass that on to Matt because, uh, you know what I mean, he's, he's a phenomenal talent and if he's comfortable, he's going to play his best darts. And he kind of showed that today. Do you think you've taken any traits and any experience from, from what you learned from John all those years ago? Yeah, how can you not? The guy's, the guy's a, an absolute gem as far as the PDC and darts is concerned. He's, he's a phenomenal talent. He's a very knowledgeable guy. And, and if you sit with him five minutes, I think you get smarter. So definitely. 
And Matt, we saw you at the, the 2020 World Championships. We're going to see you again at the, the 2021 World Championships. How much has, has your game changed in the in the last sort of year, well, eight, eight, nine months? I don't think my game has really changed at all. I think the mental aspect has changed. So before that, I knew I was capable of shooting 95 to 100 averages and then going there and losing with the 88 or whatever it was. I knew that wasn't me. But now being able to qualify for that again, I know that in my mind, I feel like I belong in this stage. So the mental aspect has changed, not really the game. All right, brilliant. Cheers, guys.